We're going to look at some spark technique movements. Our special thanks goes out to Coach Sean Weaver, the defensive coordinator at Gettysburg College, for putting together this cut-up of varying defensive line movements in his three-down front. Um, coaches, you can get full access to the full-length clinic report as well as the entire video component of this report by becoming an insider today at xandolabs.com. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the spark technique, okay, which is used in a, a one-gap movement, okay, that's just a shoulder square movement. A lot of coaches talk about whether they want a lateral step or a 45 step. In this situation, the spark is a pure lateral step. We're going to watch the nose take the lateral step here, okay, and we'll take a look at his technique. We'll critique it as well as we go through these all-end zone clips. So, as he's taking that step to his gap, notice how his shoulders stay square. Okay, he has to still control his gap. He's a play side A gap defender. Okay, see a good press and release right here by the nose, staying himself square. What that does is gives presence in the A gap. Okay, the force of the ball to cut back. Okay, where the help is. We're going to take a look again. Another spark by the same player looking at the nose. Okay, Coach Weaver calls this textbook technique. Over here by the nose guard, he's playing in a zero shade. Some coaches choose to two-gap that player. Some coaches choose to move them. Right now, coach is moving them. All right, the whole point of closing that gap, so right now he's want to close that gap. So you notice the pressure here in this front side A gap. He's able to close that gap. Okay, force the, goal, the ball to cut back. Okay, where the help is. It's all because he's staying square. And you see right now he plays his gap. He's able to come back in. Okay, make the tackle on the ball carrier. Now, we're going to take a look at here is two players in this. And um, the, the key coaching point on this is switching feet when the visual key goes away from. So we're going to take a look at right now number 58 and 65. Okay, so we're looking at the nose guard here and the defensive end over here. So let's take a look at how this plays out. So right now they are sparking, okay, to the right. Okay, they're all sparking to the right. Now, the play of the run action looks like zone action is going away from him. Now, a lot of coaches have questions about this. Is an area of concern among defensive lines that move a lot. What if the play goes away? What's your visual key at this point? Now, the visual key has left them. Okay, so all the visual keys have gone away from Now, the switching feet component is simply just planting and redirecting. Okay, so now they have planted on their outside foot. They can no longer continue to go with that flow. So now they have to find a way to get back where they need to be. 65 does a great job getting some pressure on the center. He's able to get involved in the action here on the ball carry, but that's exactly what we're talking about when we talk about switching feet. I'm going to see another one ex example here. Okay, we're going to look at, can't see his numbers, that's 47, that's the defensive end to the open side. Okay, so now the pressure is going to his left. His visual key now has left. There's zone block into the left. He has to make sure that he switches his feet in this situation. So now that inside foot becomes a plant foot. He's able to shed the block here. That's a terrific shed and release by that player. And he forces the ball carrier to bounce outside and completely change his redirect course. One more technique on the spark. We're going to take a look at the same player, number 47. Okay, so he's slanting right here. Now this is his gap. Again, the key is protecting your gap. The zone action is going away from where he's slanting to. Okay, so what he has to do now is plant that inside foot and redirect, control his gap. And he's able to get great extension here. Okay, you see the hand placement there. Terrific job by that player where backside pursuit comes down and helps. Just some examples of the spark technique submitted by Coach Weaver at Gettysburg College. We appreciate the submission. And again, coaches, if you want the full-length clinic report and the full video, you become an insider today at xandolabs.com.